Så vi är back and we have progressed a bit. Well, the gearbox is back together. And she is she is spray lubed up. She got three blocker on the adjustment nut. So by any luck, that's gonna prevent it from moving. Here, boy. So here we have our aluminum shaft, which. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the straightest shit ever, so yeah, we're gonna need some calibration. But over. So there we have you. Then we have our metal rod. Which then gets threaded on to this This one should be completed by... Straight angle. And my heat shrink shrinker. But then we have my heat gun itself. Yeah, you bottomed out soon. There you go, now you bottomed out ish. Then we have ah. our new gear. Not feature. Uh, we have our elongated gear shaft. So we have by straight angle. There you go. That's totally straight. But hey, she does give us some throw on the stick, like a proper truck. Which is what I was going for. So, you know, my concept is working. There we go. Now she is probably more... See a good ship. Then the most premier, Anton Hover. Ah, calibrate so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the reverse. Okay. See if I can see that. Så det är först gear, den är second gear, så först gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear, and eighth and reverse. So yeah, first gear, second gear, second gear, third gear, third gear, fourth gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear, seventh gear, and reverse, reverse. Okay. That means that we now have all gears. So we got first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh gear, and eighth gear. Okay, guys, we are back. I just got them. Um, oh, oh, I could probably throw in a snap clip right here. So yeah, I just got done ripping my two country DVDs over to Flack. Cause those slapped on here and you remember the Nightcore songs from Nightcore Party number one. That I converted to Wave the other day. 
those did not want to play back but now I try to convert directly from M4A directly to 16-bit FLAC and now it worked flawlessly and it plays back just fine. So I don't know what was up with that. Anywho, I got all of that on here. I also threw the M4A uh, audio on here so I could check if my player is able to play back M4A and other thoughts. So since it is technically Android. So yeah, we'll be testing that. I'm gonna do a boom. I'm gonna watch them this video. Then we are gonna head back in the car. I prep some plastic bags. I have my Mr. Drill over here, I have my, uh, the paint, I have wire brushes and shit in the car. It does seem to be raining for the time being, but it is quite, it is a little windy. So what I'm hoping is that I can just ha be in the back of my trunk and just cover everything up with plastic bags and then just spray paint in the back of my trunk to make my life easier so that way I don't have to sit on the ground and do it and I have plenty of light so yeah and because we're gonna be jacking up the car we're gonna be standing on the concrete or the asphalt parking not on the other dirt parking because uh, we have uh, jacked up the car there already a few times <coughs> Yeah, it didn't go too well, so I'd prefer to not jack the car up there. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my bun. I'm gonna wash them this and I'll be back with you when we're here in the car and I'll probably bring some coffee if my coffee is still warm. If not, I'll cook some coffee and some coke. Although I don't have any small bottle for my coke. Oh well, we'll see what I get. Okay guys, so we are back and holy fucking shit, I just exported shit off of this SD card twice. Because for some reason it gave me IO error, whatever the fuck. Why are you not tagging properly? It's because Windows on crack, that's why. So, question of the day, do we cook coffee? What do I have as far as coffee? I have some coffee. If it's enough coffee, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's like no coffee. I mean, I do have this boy, but it's like it's been laying in here for so long. I don't know if this shit even good still. I mean, at the end of the day, it's fucking coffee. So it's not like it can be that bad, right? Right. So I guess we do that then, so we don't have to wait around for five years. Anywho. I got plastic bags. I have. So there's plastic bags. There is drill. There is the leftover spray paint. Paint. Uh, my god, my guy. I think there's the USB stick. Should I put on any other kinds of pants? I mean, I could put on the tights, but I feel like those would be, you know, kind of counterintuitive. In reality, since I'm going to be standing on the floor, standing on the floor, standing on the ground, fucking doing whatever, I should probably bring knee pads, but... Oh well, I mean... Sure shit. I guess I could bring the work pants, I mean, it's the middle of the night, so it's not like... So it's not like there should be a problem for me to just... Swap pants naked in the middle of the night outside, so... I suppose I'll bring... These, I guess. And then I guess in case I decide to, you know, also use some wire wheels or whatever.
I'll bring to I'll bring that Well, the funny thing is, if I had the new coffee maker, I would just, you know, cook up some of all of this coffee. But I have not gotten that coffee maker yet, and well, I have a good reason for that, really. Money, but oh, bad. Then we have the lid. Bada bing, bada boom. Then we have phone. You go up in here, then we get the jacket, which is gonna be, I don't know, Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 9 degrees Celsius. Tonight, it's uh, 8 degrees. Uh, 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 uh. Should I take this? Or should I take that? They move that boy. Because <sighs> if not, that's gonna irritate me. So then, jacket, then phone, then, in case I gotta mess around with my uh, settings, whatever, as far as the USB drive goes, whatnot, I'm gonna bring my laptop. Or well, so was the plan. Eh. <laughs> oh well, I mean she moist, but it's not the raining. It's windy, but no, windy is one thing as long as it's, you know, dry and the wind seems to be going that way. So depending on how I, no, put myself with my back, that may not even be a problem. So, you know, well, I can feel that autumn is coming. I can't. Because it's not warm. We're gonna wait for plugging you in. Because ah, kilometer until empty tank. Dash, dash, dash. Yeah, I'm not gonna go far with this boy. Okay, so you apparently auto launched Spotify. What the fuck that was? Unless that was my boss. Ah, oh, lol. That can very well be my boss. Oh god. You're still saying dot. 
dot dot to empty tank so as you know good shit My question is how much space do we have at the back now? Oh yeah, we need more space than that. Oval. Because I doubt she'll be a week still. But oval. Anywho, on another note. Yeah, we, we don't speak about my fuel situation. Anywho, USB, you say. So that was what you played the other day. Now, first of all, Okay, I'm not gonna ask how your sorting works. Well, those flocks are working. This one is also sorted wrong, but oh well. So now everything just works. Oval, oh, well, sure shit. Now my question is, M4A, can you play? Yes, you can play M4As as well, okay. Sure shit. Sure, sure shit. Okay. Okay, sure shit. Everything works. Uh, yeah, we, we don't speak about my fuel situation. So, you know, good, good shit. My question is, sorting. Why do you... How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? Okay, I'm not gonna ask how that makes any sense, but okay. Yes, yeah, sorting here is wrong shit, but okay. She got some juice. So because we now have a long bar which would effectively reduce our torque a bit. We're gonna do 120 instead of uh, 110. And I mean we'll figure out if that is sufficient torque. 
Then we start to you know demount this whole shit. Oh, it's a good shit. Oval. So now, theoretically speaking, I Gonna slide her under, so if she falls, then she falls on that. So, there we go. So there is the caliper, we're gonna be having a blast up, if you will. So we gotta deconnect you from the actual caliper bracket, which technically ain't hard. The only thing is, is that we have very little lumens here. Now I know for a fact those are two teams. I was about to say how much impact power we're gonna be able to get. On the subject, I don't know. Bottom bolt. So well. Yeah, we're not even getting. We're not even hooking on to that bolt. Yeah, we are too long. And we have a damper in the way. Oh. So yeah, my idea about using a impact on you is, you know, I don't know why I was even thinking that, because that is not going to work. So, oh, what it's going to resort to is, you know, you at 13. Probably an extension, the question is what extension, because yeah, she, she gonna be tight, bud. So there is a 12, this is a 13, that's a 14. So, <sighs> yeah, because we ain't getting that extension in between there. That's just to forget about now. Technically speaking, we have already had these brakes apart, so theoretically speaking, it should be fairly easy. Of course, I forgot to take out the bottle of penetrant I have. So, you know, that's always, you know, nice shit. Because the penetrant on the wheel speed sensor 
Let it start loosen up a bit. Now I doubt these have rusted stuck since the last time I had these loose, but you never fucking know. No oh, well. I guess they are not. Oh well, these are easy shit. My front calipers, however, well, I have a feeling they're gonna put up more of a fight. Good there she's out. Oh well, I guess I eventually got it. Then the only thing supposedly left here now is the chassis, the bleeder, the master cylinder, which I'm gonna get something to put in there. That's something being the little piece of paper I have left, lol. Just to kind of keep her, you know, together. Then oh, begins the fun part, which is, you know, why you're wheeling down this whole beach. Are we looking? Are we dripping? Yes, we're still dripping. Good shit. I have, I have brake fluid. One caliper off. Now we go ham, and then we prime the shit. It's gonna actually be easier to do. No. Bitte vad vil. Okej, okay, så är en back. And... Uh, I have... Been at her. For a while. And I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get her. You can see she's far from perfect. But I've gotten most of the surface rust off of it. You gotta understand that these calipers, I believe they're cast iron. And they're not actually steel. So they don't corrode as bad. But I think I've gotten the actual slide portion down to the bare minimum. Which means now really the only thing left filthy brake pads. Fucking yeah, it's great shit. So really we're only gonna get one caliper done in this video because my drill is pretty much out of power so I'm only gonna be able to do most of the surface stuff just kind of roughly on the big boy portion here now really in main case it's the outside of matters
because you know the insides are not really going to see so it doesn't really matter too much I mean I do want to try and get some on there well preferably if I can The only thing we gotta remember is that there's also shim here. And that shim gotta stay kind of clean. So you know all of that shit. But overall, I think I think we have done that justice, I think. Perfect far from but enough to the point where I'd feel fine trying to shock some paint on it, so, you know, the good shit. Oh. Okay, good shit. Now, uh, something to sacrifice. Why I'd say something to sacrifice? Well, because uh, we, we don't want to get uh, paint all over these uh, these pistons here, so, you know, that's what I am worried about, but if we just do a little little like that, then Now uh, trust me, I will I will clean up all of these, you know, parts whatnot that needs to be free and moving eventually. I will do that, trust me. I will not leave it like that. This is also why I specified that we were gonna have, you know, tallow or whatnot. So that way, if not covered, we can, you know, wipe off of her. And it's fine. I'll, you know, go over all of these later on. And with some sandpaper or whatever. And just make sure that actually, you know, clean whatnot. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna call this one done because it's so tremendously low. Ah, oh, lol. This is a new boy.
So we are back in a scene more than I have. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, they're working glorious. Oh, they're working perfect, the files we transferred. And you guys are practically dead, so you know, that's always great shit. Yeah. I can seem to understand the words that you said. So, we are back and the wind is like me, what not. I tried to clean up my brake roller, well my brake this before that bitch ran out of power. So as you know, kind of whatever. We are back and well, you are whatever. This boy is well, pretty much as ready as it's gonna get. This one is dry enough to the point where I can flip her this way and give her, no, her inside spray of, you know, or spray from the other side of, uh, you know, our primer. Now, as I said earlier, I am gonna clean up the piston. I am gonna clean up the slide pins and stuff like that. So, you know, I have a plan for all of that. But now, while that dries, we are gonna take and have a look at our color. So. Ah, yes. So there you have what our brake calipers are going to be looking like. Huh? Oh, that's going to look so nice when we get it on the car. Yeah, pro mode, maybe. Because, well, white balance is, you know, very great shit. Maybe. Ish. So then we leave you in between there so that we, you know, it can still breathe back here. On the telephone, it's out to hang it up. And I win, Lord knows I would. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take and shoot the car off, I think. Because uh, we are very low on fuel. I mean, my battery is fine, my battery is charged enough. If we'll be able to keep my GoPro charged, then we'll be able to run the stereo for a while. So as far as power goes, I'm not concerned. I'm more concerned about running it empty. Now, I have run it empty before, 
and she wasn't too bad to get started again. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just hoping that, you know, I mean, the car is warm enough, as long as I keep the door shut as much as I can, it will stay warm enough in here that, you know, it won't be a problem. Uh, so, I mean, as long as this one doesn't become orange, really, then we should be pretty good. I mean, it is, of course, going to get chillier, but, you know... It's not gonna be the end of the world as long as I try and keep the door shut as much as possible. So yeah, so we're pretty much without the car right now as far as, you know, having it on and stuff. But oh well, I mean she's getting there. Oh well. So I think really one more round of primer for that. This boy really. Middle stuck. No god. That's definitely going to create a mark. Oh, well. Ah, yes. Jo, tack. Use the correct brake pad. Maybe. Oh. Ah, lol. you find or whom you come across in the middle of the night so yeah I think the car will be left here I think Daven I did not have to change Daven so we are back. Where are we? She's almost 3 a.m. I've been sitting here listening to my merry country with a very quiet environment because the car has been off because I'm practically dead empty for fuel. I swear the only fuel I have left is in the fucking filter cup. Anywho, we are back with an update. As we have fucking Nashville gone fucking country on the radio. Oh, I was just in the back. I uh, got another layer on the bracket. I got the first layer on the actual caliper. So we're chugging along. So now really I need to let that dry and then do more rounds on that. The bracket... Oh my god, why did you get stuck again for fun? Besides from the obvious places it's getting stuck. This boy is pretty much ready for clear coat. That one is gonna need its inside round of paint. And some more on the outer side here, whatever else. 
I still have this random ass fucking brake pad to just hold my trunk open a tad so it can air back there. My ground is still a mess. So I am back and I have gotten the first layer. I have gotten the first layer of clear coat on the outer bracket and I have gotten well the first inside layer of paint on the actual main caliper so I gotta do another round of lacquer all the way around the caliper and then I gotta do a few more layers of clear coat on the actual bracket and then I gotta let that dry for like an hour the same bit eh. the same with the uh, about at least half an hour to 45 minutes the same with my uh, oh the same with the actual caliper <sighs> then I gotta clean up the slide pins which ideally I should put some lube on but I don't have any lube right now but I am gonna pick some up on Friday just some grease or whatever to throw in there so good shit Normally, I think normally you use like lithium grease or whatever, but I think reg uh, like regular grease, any grease of some other shape or form will help. As long as she's not rubbing against paint for the time being, that's at least something. So what I'll do is just run my finest sandpaper quickly over her and then it should be fine. Okay guys, we are back and well, where are we you may ask? Well, where we are is well, where we are is that we are gonna clean up of the floor for the most part. Just put it all in my back seat. Then what we're gonna do is close the back, or well, we're gonna take my fuel can out of the back. Ah, there's my cover for the breeder. I was wondering where I took the weight. We are gonna... Close my car. My gloves are in the back. Then we are gonna take a walk. And then we're gonna walk to the store. I am gonna take and just put on whatever a little bit in the background here. Just gonna put that in there so we have something to listen to. Then I am gonna do this. Then I'm gonna pull out my fuel can. Then I'm gonna leave that in there and leave her jacked up. Well, first of all, I'm gonna unlock her, turn off lights, then. Stay locked. Then we are gonna go on a walk. Up to Uno Ax. I'll brew out my phone is there. Then we are gonna take a walk up to Uno Ax and see what 60 crowns gonna get us for diesel. Then we're gonna fill that on the car. We're not gonna start the car yet. 
But we're gonna get it since I have nothing else to do while I wait for shit to kinda dry. Then fill that on the car, then we're gonna finish up the calipers. Then once we have finished up the calipers, then we're gonna take and go and refill my brake reservoir, fire up the car, bleed my brakes to some degree. Once my brakes are bled ish, then we're gonna park it on the flat parking, aka the old old parking, the parking we originally was parked on before I started parking at the other place. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna head inside, get a shower, what not. <sighs> yeah, we could say I feel that autumn is coming. Why do I feel that autumn is coming? Well, the reason why I'm feeling that autumn is coming is because number one, it's like eight degrees out here, so it's kind of chilly. Which, I mean, to be frank, is kind of nice change from the like 20, 25 degree weather we've been having simply because now it's actually cooler inside as well. Uh, and then we have, uh, and then also he soon four, and it's still totally dark. Normally by this time it would have started to get bright outside, but it's still basically completely dark out. So then I hope that the 60 crown is gonna get me about 3 liters. I think it leaves like 10 crown. So I'll probably get like 2 and a bit. So I mean it's gonna be a fairly light camp to bring back but it'll at least get us enough fuel to where I can move my car to the other parking and I'll have enough fuel to get up to wax on Friday. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, I'll just have to walk up there on Friday and get some more diesel, but... I mean... The question is if it even will accept it, because I know some places has, like, you gotta have so, so much on your car to even, you know, be allowed to fuel, but... I don't know if that's the case up here. I know I filled on Esso with only like a hundred kron on my car, whatever. I don't remember. It will just pull so so much and then it will just stop when you reach that amount. So good 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 shit. Although I can feel it's cold. Which means the diesel handle, the handle on the pump. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you asked, it's gonna be even colder. So how are we looking? Uh, it's still 20, 39, so... Are they getting like 4 liters I was hoping for? Or 3 liters I was hoping for? I rather said... Or so we hope. Let's just hope that tap works, because... Uh, I do not have the physical card on me. And if I walked all the way up here and it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, then the car is standing there. And here is the thing, everybody's asleep too. So it's not like anybody can send me money either, so... The 63 kron I have, that's the... That's the diesel we get. So good shit. <sighs> so now when I get money next time, I swear to God I can fill this shit up fully. Including this boy fully. But yeah, clearly we need to do something about my front brakes because clearly something putting a pull on the car because if the stated of 1,900 to 1,000 kilometers on full tank is anything to go by, then then my car is about, oh, from what I've counted and whatever, my car is literally 50% percent 
down on its performance. So basically, I get about 500. I get about 500 out of her on one tank. So, eh, you know, good shit. Oh. Then we see here what, what can we get out of this boy? Yeah, I can hear the shit going. Let's see what you're gonna give us. Well, besides from a light dying. However much we're gonna get. Well, as I said, we're gonna get the three liters. <laughs> and that's what we get. Now, if I remember correctly, I do not need a card anymore. Hello. Yeah, are you cold? Oh well, there is our three liters of diesel. Oh, Satan in helvete. Yeah, chunk of asphalt. So good, good shit. So here we have like three liters of dice diesel. So they should well make us be able to run the car for a little while after we bring my brakes to charge the battery, get back to the parking, and oh well, here's new asphalt apparently. So you could have at the same time as you did the asphalt here. You could have, you know, done something about this road, which is becoming as bad as fucking every road in fucking Illinois. Hello. Posten. Yeah, my guy, it's like fine shit that it's the middle of the night, but you can be a little easier on the throttle, my boy. But oh well, here we have three liters of diesel to shock on the car. Was maybe like this oval. So we are at the car, and we are about to put our three liters of quote unquote well spent fuel. <clears throat> However you wanna put it, 
we are about to do that quote unquote well spent fuel on the car. Whichever way you'd wanna look at that. This will be our savior from being stuck out in no man's land, aka the graveyard. <coughs> Hold on, cold. Well, not exactly the graveyard, but you get my idea. Oh well, that was that fuel. Let's uh, go see what our verdict is. With the car on half five, that is. Oh well, I mean, we're up in the red. We're up in the red at least. 80 km you say. Oh well, should make it a bit. <laughs> it's... It's good shit. So I guess we'll make it home at least. I guess. So good, good shit. Yeah, so basically what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna paint this done, which as far as the main boy is pretty much clear lacquer, the bracket also clear lacquer pretty much. Then once that's all on we gotta bleed my brakes. So that we're gonna have to do here, refill the master reservoir and chip. I gotta remove all of this to get to my brake fuel, brake fuel to get to my brake fluid. Then we put brake fluid in the master reservoir. We pop the bleeder. We pump the fuck out of my brakes. Oh well, rather said we pump the fuck out of my brakes. Then after I've pumped the fuck out of my brakes, we open my bleeder. Then close up my bleeder, then pump the fuck out of my brakes again. Open the bleeder and hope it just comes a fine, stri st fine straight line of brake fluid out. Because I have no one else here to close the thing on me while I pump. So, you know, that's all fun and good shit. Then well, that's really where we are, so good shit. Then we're gonna move over there, keep running for like 10-15 minutes to recharge the battery a bit. And then we're parking her heading inside and sleeping. So, where are we? So, I flipped the caliper around. I've gotten done with my two coats on the one side. I've now done my first coat on the other side. So, bye! You know, 15 I could probably put the second layer on and by 5.30 she's probably dry enough to the point where we can start reassembling shit. I'm hoping to have her assembled and in by 5.45 so that way I can start bleeding my brakes. Get my brakes bled done, pop the wheel on, get her on the ground so I can swap pants and shit before this place starts filling up to the brim with people. Move to the other parking, heat up the car again, charge the battery a bit. And then whatever else. We have moved from country. Over to buy regular night core, whatever the heck. You know, pop, hip hop, EDM, whatever, everything. 
Three I sure get out of all I am beholding of me. So I promise you, after I've got this oil showered, I pop all this about I'm gonna be gone. And I'm probably wake up to my alarm at 1 p.m. So good shit. Although I'm also hungry. So I may just throw a bun in me or whatever when I come in. I don't know. If not, I just slap a cheese spread or two into the, the toast iron and call it a day. I'm not gonna bother doing anything too fancy. So, so, so good shit. So, so I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, guys, we are back. We have chicken for Lisa. On the fucking phone, yo. If you will. And it's time. It is time. To reinstall this piece of caliper. And get this bitch bled. Because holy fucking shit. <sighs> oh, so here we have her. I mean... Is this the best she's been? No, but far from, but uh, overall, I mean, she's doing semi-decent. So what we're gonna do now is just give the actual piston a sand to get the paint off the actual piston. <laughs> just because it needs to be kind of clean and clear and whatever. But other than that, the piston itself should free up fairly easily. Slide pins are fine, we're just gonna install them with some penetrant color a day for now, and then I'll open her up and lube her later. Uh, for now, we're just gonna reinstall her with some. Some lube. Now I just gotta remember how the fuck this whole shit goes together. There we go. There your slid in again. So now is she a little scuffed, yes, but I mean the top is looking fine, so you know that's really all that matters. Now I know your guys gonna be like, ah clean, clean up the surfaces, clean up the surfaces. What I'm gonna do to clean up the surfaces is that, well, first of all, I'm just gonna clean up the pad a bit in general. And what I'm gonna do is just give the brake a few pumps. And call it a day. Normally I would put grease in the slide pins and stuff, but I don't have grease right now. But I will... be putting some grease on. Eventually, I will. Okay, come on. Go. There we go. Thank you.
ja då slide over that which is gonna create a little scuff but oh well i think in general we are looking pretty good just wait to screw this damn brake line in oh my god come on please thread there we go thank you Holy shit! There we go. Good shit. Then brake bolts, bleeder, cap. Flight pin cap. Did that go in? Yes, I think it did. But it's 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 a start. It, it's a start. Oh, then we get you and I tighten her up just a tad to begin with. Then then I take the torque wrench and we torque her all the way. Then we slap her into here. Then we, oh my god, adjust her to a the My boy, are you like, oh wait, what am I pulling the... Um... Okay, yeah, I'm pulling it in, there we go. I was about to be like, hello, are you tightening? But yes, it was tightening, I was just pulling in the... Uh, pulling in the bracket. Amazing 
Okej. Håll dig shit. Okej. She on, she bolted in, she torqued to 80 newton meters. Uh, I still need to go over with the spray paint, just cover up the disc and just quickly go over her in a few spots, just directly on the car. But I mean, there is your red car lipper. I mean, if you want a, yeah, you have a quote unquote before. And here you have an after. So now, there we go. So there is you to do the wheel. There is you to do the bleeder. Then we remove the literal shit ton of you know shit back here that we have everywhere, so that I can access fucking shit to you know get my brake fluid. Is this car a mess? Yes. Do I care? No. Ah. Oh well, we can do 110 now. I guess I found my shorter boy. I was just like, I know my shorter boy is here somewhere. Good, good, good shit. So now, break fluid. Mm. And we hope that this is enough, which should be. So we have dot four. Break fluid. Uh, where the fuck do I? It's hard to find. It's hard to find good help in a car like this. You can probably see it kind of. Anywho. Oh well. I mean, there you go. Then hit the hole, please. Yeah, we can say you drained of it. Oh god. Oh well, I mean she full, but I promise you the moment we start the fucking car, that is gonna drain right down. The moment we tap the brake, so... Let's uh, fire it up. Mm. So... Oh well, the brake likes to go on away, so you're not complaining about that anymore. Yeah, you were very low on power. So, oh wow. Okay. Then we crack the bleeder. Okay, then we try this again. And now as I've tightened up the bleeder, we try and build pressure again. And we hope the pressure stays this time. We hope. Other oh, than just bled so much shit out of the system. It might well be. 
Now we need more brake fluid, for all I know. I mean, in the back seems like it stopped leaking, so if anything, it's air in the system. Come on, please, bleed out. No, that's the problem. We have not gotten... So basically what I gotta do... Okay, so I have an idea. Basically what I gotta do is I gotta get something. In this case, this boy. I gotta put pressure on the pedal. I gotta keep that pressure on the pedal. Then I gotta try and... Then I gotta crack the bleeder. I mean, it's not perfect, but we do have more. We do have more pressure on the pedal. Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal still, but she's definitely less spongy. Well, she goes less to the floor. So I'm less worried about not having brakes. No, really, I need to get an 11 in order to, you know, get this shit done properly. I'm gonna try. Oh, wow. Okay, let's uh, hope that back got her bled. Goodish. So yeah, that's not, don't use an impact on that. But it's literally the only thing I had. Let me just hope. Ow, Satan. Oh well, I mean, she's not as firm as she was, I would say. Maybe, I don't know. But she's definitely not going all the way to the floor, so I feel comfortable. Okay, so I have bladder as much as I can really get her myself with, well, an impact because I don't have the correct size wrench here. So I got her bled. So now we're gonna pop the tire back on and uh, we're gonna call this one good because holy fucking shit, I am tired, I wanna sleep. As as I... I'll sort all of this shit when I'm inside again, whatever. Now I just want to get this tire on. Bitch, I need to be in here to get the nuts, you idiot.
One, two, three, four, five. No. The amount of brake going on the ground here. We, we don't speak about it, okay? We, we don't speak about it. We don't. Ah. Can I say boy though? Because we are missing a space here. Should probably go on a little bit. There you go. Don't remember somehow. Anywho, there you are, there you are. You belong up here. Whatever. You belong here in the back. If that's the amount of breakthrough that has leaked out, then yeah, I wonder why the system was fucking in there. Holy shit!
was so I am back you guys ran out of power I don't remember if you guys ran out of power before or right after I got the wheel on Anywho oh. We got the wheel on So there you have the caliper looks a lot better than the old cast iron or whatever She got some finishing touches to do but other than that I think she's looking good uh, oh, so good shit. We got her bled as half as what I can get it. We do have pretty good brakes. I did drive from there to there and I did have brakes about where I usually have brakes when I tap on the brakes. So good shit. But we will do a proper bleed of my brakes eventually once we do the rest of them. But for now, we are good. I'm gonna stand here until i don't know 6 40 maybe i don't know get some juice into the battery whatnot then i'm gonna head inside i don't know if i'm gonna shower now then sleep i don't know i'll probably go inside throw in myself a bun then Then whatever else, and then once I've done that, I'll probably jump in the shower, maybe at the end of sleep. I don't know. Anywho, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, life would be greatly appreciated. Then, as always, I'm going to down below for my socials and all of that. And until further notice, stay tuned, stay awesome, and next time, here.